When DJI launched the Phantom, we changed the world. With every generation since, we've made flying easier, more reliable, and smarter. Now, we are bringing this expertise to the world of agriculture with the DJI Agris MG1, the first agricultural aerial platform designed for ultimate effectiveness, industry-level reliability, and precision spraying. One single Agris MG1 can carry 10 kilograms of fluid and cover 10,000 square meters on a single charge, 40 to 60 times faster than manual spraying. The Agris MG1 is dustproof and corrosion-proof. It's also water resistant, so at the end of a spray, it can be rinsed clean. Its extreme reliability is possible through a specially designed internal cooling system. Air enters from the front and mist, dust, and large particles are filtered out before reaching the motors where heat is then dissipated into the surrounding air. Industry standard ceramic nozzles come pre-installed and can be swapped out if necessary. Spray quality is further enhanced with a downward facing radar that keeps the Agris MG1 at exactly the right height above the crops. Using the Agris MG1, modern farms can spray faster, more accurately, and more efficiently, bringing the DJI powered aerial revolution to agriculture. With the Agris MG1, we are building the world of tomorrow. In agriculture, how can professionals complete more tasks at a lower cost and effectively handle complex situations to build a competitive advantage? DJI's latest agricultural drone, the MG1P series, dramatically increases work efficiency to operate at the next level. Banked Turning Mode uses optimized flight route algorithms that allow the MG1P series to increase working efficiency by up to 20%. A 5-meter spraying width lets the MG1P series cover an average of 6 hectare per hour. With a 123-degree wide-angle camera, the MG1P series supports HD video transmission, displaying real-time information of the surrounding field while providing a reference for obstacle avoidance. For added assistance, dual searchlights help ensure safe operation in low light. Traditional operation planning requires additional manpower for recording. An onboard FPV camera lets users record waypoints during flight, facilitate route planning, and avoid the trouble of manual recording to increase efficiency and save time. The MG1P series brings an updated intelligent remote controller with a dual band transmission system Low altitude flight can be controlled from up to three kilometers away, while ensuring stable communications in even complex operation environments. Since crop spraying is a largely seasonal service, it can become a challenge to find available pilots at peak times of the year. To solve this problem, the MG1P series supports multiple aircraft's control from a single remote controller. One pilot can simultaneously control up to five aircrafts with a single remote controller reducing operational cost and completing more tasks in a shorter time frame. While protecting a field, reliability and efficiency are equally important. Uneven terrain, electrical wires and trees at risk to an operation. The MG1P series is equipped with an omnidirectional radar system that integrates three high-precision detection radars and one obstacle avoidance radar. It can detect objects as small as a half a centimeter power line from up to 15 meters away. It also analyzes the terrain to adjust aircraft altitude to achieve safe operation. The radar system is protected by IP67 casing for an all-weather durability and convenient maintenance. Adaptive protection features such as an 8-axis propulsion redundancy design ensure safety even when one of the motors is damaged during flight. Precise positioning is critical when operating in complex environments. MG1P RTK achieves centimeter accurate positioning while resisting electromagnetic interference, significantly improving flight stability and route precision for safer, more reliable flight. For extended service, the spraying system uses aerospace composite materials that resist corrosion and double surface life. Leakage proof nozzles can be started or stopped in just half a second. Flow closed loop control technology increases spraying precision. 
the MG One Piece series provides multiple solutions for agriculture applications, benefiting users with efficiency and reliability. I'm a professional fish fisherman. I've been working for about a year. My main work is to feed the fish and feed the fish. 以前我就很关注植保无人机，但是学习飞行和操控很困难，呃，需要很小心的去飞行。在试用了 MGES 以后，我发现这是一台很智能的植保无人机，它让作业变得更简单。每次作业前，拿着遥控器绕着农田走一圈，就能直接规划好航线，下次作业时直接调用数据就可以了。设置好喷洒参数和作业模式，上传到植保无人机以后，就能开始自动作业，操作简单，而且效率很高。我们一天能完成四五百亩的作业。有的田块不平整，手动调整高度很难，经常会喷洒不均匀。MGS 配备了三台雷达，飞的时候可以自动定高，完全不用担心调高影响喷洒质量。最终的喷洒效果是最重要的。MGES 配备了双水泵，可以分别控制前后两对喷头，比 MGE 的喷洒精度更高。喷洒速度和飞行速度是联动的，飞行速度不稳定的时候也能做到均匀的喷洒，不会烧瞄，也不会漏喷。对于植保队来说，飞机一定要便于维护和修理。MGES 进行了结构的优化，很多部件都可以拆分，需要修理的话很便捷，成本也低了不少。现在有了无人机打药，给我们农民节省了很多时间和精力。以前像我们这块地，一个工人一天才打四亩，现在有了无人机，两分钟就可以搞定。无人机打药，喷洒均匀，效果很好。玉米叶子的背面、茎部都可以喷到。以后有紧急的病虫灾害，就不再担心没有工人给我们喷药了。一年以来，我们的植保队由三个人增长到三十多个人。现在我们有二十多架无人机在附近的村镇同时作业。MGES 配备的大疆农业管理平台提供了整套的管理方案，打开平台就能实时查看每台飞机的状态和作业进度，可以直接统计工作量进行结算，还能把已经规划的任务指派给飞手，节约了很多撤柜的时间。有这个平台以后，我们的工作更有条理。更方便，效率提高了很多。大疆无人机植保解决方案给我很大的信心。今年我要扩张无人机植保业务，为更多的农户服务。In historic terms, malaria is perhaps the most important disease that mankind has ever known. It's been estimated that every second person that ever has lived on the planet died as a result of malaria. That is 52 billion people overall. The ones that die are mostly children below the age of five and pregnant women. So it is still with us and it is still a very important disease. There's literally thousands and thousands of mosquitoes breeding here in these rice puddies. And people, the villages are right around it. So that means that the mosquitoes that come out of these rice puddies, they will fly to these villages, they will bite people. And as a result of that, we will have a lot of transmission of the disease. We will be working in these rice paddies. And controlling mosquitoes here over this large area is obviously very difficult. And that's why we're seeking solutions through which we can do this better and can do this faster. By helicopter, this work in Africa cannot be done. Just too expensive. By hand, too time consuming. What could fill the gap between a helicopter and hand spray? Three years ago, a small organization called Antimalaria Drones came to us uh, with a fantastic idea, fighting malaria in a more efficient way by using drones. For that purpose, we had to customize one of our off-the-shelf platforms called Agra's MG1S. 
we had to integrate new mechanical pumps able to spray a biodegradable agent. The point is that by doing that, we have a very small little film that is on the surface of the water, which prevents the larvae of the mosquito from breathing. So they literally, they suffocate and they die. It's a very simple approach. So by just flying over all these putties, spraying this biological control agent, we are hoping to really reduce the number of mosquitoes that come out of these rice fields and go out and bite these people. In this case, it's actually a, a chemical that has been used for covering drinking water basins. So it's actually completely safe for humans. It's completely safe for other organisms in the ecosystem. The drones can work fast. We can take 10 liters of fluid up in the air these days. It's fairly easy to train people to use the drones and actually fly them. It is beyond any doubt that if you get rid of malaria altogether, it will have an enormous socio-economic impact. Very simple. We get a healthy farmer, that means we get a good crop yield, that means there's more income for the family, that means there's more education for the children, and everybody will benefit from it. You're going to have an impact on all other elements of society. It's costing the continent of Africa more than $12 billion per year just to have people being treated with drugs, taken care of, etc., etc. If we integrate the technologies that we have today, the nets, the spraying, the drugs, the diagnostics, everything that we have today, but we add on the new tools, for instance, the drones, that we may actually achieve going down to zero and keeping it there. And that's really important. So the first part of the project has just been finalized. Now it's all about the local community here to continue with the data gathering processes. Once we have it all, the last part of the project starts when we will analyze all that data and we will scale up this project to all affected regions where this type of technology can make a difference. We treated this field yesterday and I'm really happy to see there are no new mosquitoes in it today. People have been suffering malaria for thousands of years. In fact, we've been fighting malaria for decades. And now we have this type of technology, we have the drone technology to win this battle against malaria once and for all. Esta comunidad es mi comunidad. Yo crecí aquí, eh, vivimos una vida difícil. Yo perdí un embarazo y por poco pierdo la vida. Y yo seguía sangrando y sangrando y sangrando. Y aquí no había vehículo. Y mi suegra buscó gente, juntó muchos hombres y me llevaron en una hamaca. In these rural communities, this is a tropical country. The weather is, you know, changes a lot. We do have tropical storms. And once it starts raining in these hills, you have the mudslides. So even if we have some roads that are already in good condition, there are moments in which these communities are just isolated for weeks. Hay personas que vienen aquí con la analítica de hace dos meses y yo le pregunto, pero por qué? Porque no tenía para venir, no había medios para venir. Muchas veces vienen en caballo y tenemos que resolverle rápido porque por donde está pasa un río y ese río eh, se pone peligroso y no pueden devolverse. The Drone Innovation Center, in partnership with local government and communities, has begun a trial program that uses drones to help carry medical supplies and blood samples between remote mountain villages and larger city hospitals. Es muy fácil porque con los drones el paciente está en cama y se le puede tomar la muestra en su casa y enviarlo, hacerle su procedimiento de la muestra y mandarle su analítica a su casa. Inclusive la doctora que está de, de turno aquí en el hospital le prescribe lo que tiene que comprar y se le manda ya igual con el dron. We needed to make sure that we had every single stakeholder involved. We're talking about the Ministry of Health, the civil aviation authorities, 
So the health ministry also, within the execution of the project, wanted us to address a specific issue, which is a pressing issue in the Dominican Republic, which is infant mortality. So once we identified San Juan as the province to do that, we did the deployments, we connected one hospital with two clinics, we did over 25 flights back and forth on a week. I think the main outcome that we achieved was to demonstrate that the time of delivery is definitely one of the key outcomes. I mean, 14 minutes on a flight of a drone versus 45 on a pickup truck, you know, there is efficiency there. Bueno, con este nuevo sistema estaríamos muy contentos de ver cómo eh, tuviéramos un paciente aquí, por ejemplo, una embarazada que está no sabe que está embarazada y viene con su náusea, su mareo y su cosa y la tenemos en la camilla. Pero el doctor no puede ponerle nada porque no sabe si está embarazada. Mandamos la muestra a Bochillo y llega esa muestra al momento. Wow, ya sabemos qué vamos a hacer. En la parte eh, realmente humanitaria, nos damos cuenta que podemos resolver muchos problemas de, esa, de esas personas y que podemos salvar rápidamente. Podemos resolver aquí mismo en el hospital. Nos damos cuenta de lo, de lo que tiene el paciente. Llamamos a la doctora, eh, tiene una dificultad, eh, se le manda su resultado y la doctora puede resolver, se pueden salvar vidas, muchas vidas. Trubadur Ratings Channel will thank you for watching. If you found this video valuable, give it a like. If you know someone who needs to see it, share it. Leave a comment below with your thoughts.